But uh, uh it's top of mind. That 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 I just what was sorry, what was this? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Say What Podcast, episode 77. As always, I'm your host, Ohio Lali, joined by my lovely <laughs> co-host, Yosef Niederbor. He's here. We got him here in one piece, and uh, he's uh, he's feeling a bit under the weather. We all are, in a, in a way, but uh, we appreciate you all tuning in, uh, listening, viewing, and subscribing. If you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, please do us a favor, follow it, leave us a five-star review, add it to your library. Go ahead. We'll, we'll give you a second there to review it, five stars. <laughs> Did you do it? It's a nice thing to do. We appreciate it. And if you don't, we'll spit on you. But uh, if you're listening, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, leave a like, comment below, and subscribe for all future uploads. Hit the bell icon to stay updated. And with that, we're jumping right in. This is Say What? A podcast where two cousins talk about whatever whatever the hell they want and take ibuprofen just to get through it for you all. So please follow. I feel you. So we're here, man. It's freaking it's November thirteenth at the date of recording this, two thousand twenty three. And we are here, man. And we're gonna start out with a segment we like to call What's it called? How you, you been? Hit it. Getting it out now, yeah. <laughs> How you been, man? Uh, this is uh, my boy and I catching up. Uh, so no, no, I talked a lot. No, you go. First. I talked. I, I set up the intro. I have nothing. And I'm new. asking you. I got nothing. New just to my tell me. Yeah. I'm just sick. Okay. That's all I am. <laughs> Update sick. Um, I'm sick. Uh, not super sick. This isn't the vid. Relax. It's, it's vid okay. twenty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, i just been sick. Uh, I went to class today. Nice. Felt miserable. Oh, man. Went to the movie screening. Fell asleep. I have no... I know the name of the movie. Didn't catch a fucking minute of it. Because what was I it? Was passed out. Oh, it was, um, gosh. Too hot to handle. I think I've heard not, of that. Not the reality show. There's a real Okay. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the... the pop, that's probably how you heard of it. You didn't watch BravoCon? <laughs> no. <laughs> we, uh... Well, you didn't watch any of it. <laughs> what? You said you dozed off during. Oh yeah, I was fucking asleep. It's yeah. got Clark Gable in it. Damn, dude. Um, Clark and I didn't Gable. give a shit. I was, <laughs> I was just sitting there. Damn. And I was like, Was it a good sleep too? Dude, it was fuck. I woke. It was the type of sleep where you close your eyes, you wake up, and the movie's over. <laughs> oh <laughs> you know, my god. Time passing <laughs> from opening credit to. And I just saw the nice. press just sitting in the back like this, and I was like. Yeah, I'm out of this. Like bitch. dabbing him up. Sorry, my guy. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> and then I just walked out. Uh, and then I stopped by the restaurant to check on things. And then nice, I nice. Got, I, I took a, a cup of soup. That's right. And then I was harassed by my colleagues. Um, Only him. No, I'm I didn't about. say anything no, I didn't. Uh, but, with uh, my uh, words, but <laughs> but um, yeah. Well, uh, uh, we got some filming done. Yeah, we did. Um, we did in your apartment last week for then, the um, Below Average Podcast, Yosef's Podcast, which yeah. you all should definitely check out if um, you haven't already linked on the description. And then um, I watched Rocky last night. Just because, for fun. Well, because I was like, damn, I'm fried mentally and I just needed to pick me up. Yeah. And there's nothing more motivating than watching a man from Philly who can <laughs> barely read get the snot beat out of him. <laughs> what a log line, by the way, right? <laughs> and then he's somehow the winner in the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On paper, Rocky he's, sounds ridiculous. He's assaulted profusely at the end of that movie. His eyes all swollen. You can't fucking see. They cut his eye open. But and man, he, but is boy, he a chimp. He, yeah, does he win it all? <laughs> but um, that's the highest level to aspire to is getting the shit beat out of you on the on the and world raising class your fist stage. after it. And uh, yeah, and in front of like, by the way, thousands of people. Yeah, yeah, in front of the <laughs> world stage, man. Um, or at least a corner of Philly stage, and so <laughs> beat some meat in the freezer while you're at it. Yeah. Beat, beat your meat well, in I was general. Beating me- well, I couldn't How's beat- November going for you? <laughs> Esau, I was in. I was seven days in, and I was like fiending. 
you told us that you were doing it, and you were. It was what I November was like. 5th? I'm just gonna test my dexterity as a human. You got five days in to No Nut November. Dude, I was cracking. <laughs> Dude, I was so out of character. I was hanging out with everybody. Yeah, yeah. I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> You're a man oh. in and out of consciousness. And we're watching the boys, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" Yeah. You're like, "That's a nice looking plant." Not, not no, the show, the boys. By the You're way, right, right. Clarify. The boys. <laughs> we're watching <laughs> the boys. <laughs> not okay. He was staring but, um, at us in the living room, and yeah. uh, <laughs> and um, Starlight was. I think that was it for you, huh? Yeah, um, I think that was the one that pushed you was, over the edge. It was uh, Stillwell. Oh my, Madison. Oof. That's her name. The lady. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah you're um, like, like in the mommy stuff. Shut up, anyway, oh, so. Milf in my action so, uh, there, uh, um, boy. <laughs> anyway, you just send the video of Kramer going, I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> like that was like the sixth day. From the contest, and I was like, oh, man, another soldier. Oh, I, I don't I didn't even try, brother. This shit is for the birds, my friend. <laughs> I, I gave it my all. Um, How do you sleep? Well, now, like well, a baby. I was sleeping fine before. But really? Now I'm, I'm arguably sleeping worse. <laughs> did you feel? Did you feel you were like an elevated man? No, that doesn't take. That doesn't happen until like, according to theory, because a lot of people who say it's like it takes like two weeks, at mm. like minimum to get to that like you Day know what 14. I don't even need this anymore. Then yeah, that, that like thing. alpha brain turns on. Yeah. Sheesh. But uh, damn. Yeah, so that's my my ears are popping so much, man. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Is it just like a mental uh, experiment? Dude, if you guys can physical. hear what I'm hearing, it just feels like somebody's popping bubble wrap every time I pop or talk. Um, Hold your nose and swallow no. if you can. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you want your ears um, to pop, that's how you do it. I mean, you know, I'm just gonna get but. some McDonald's after this. Uh, just get some antibiotic filled beef and then take out, <laughs> take out two feelings at once. Just really wake up the immune Clear system. Get ear infection and then get my tummy all, full. All you need is that slice of cheese that hangs off the end of like a McDouble. Oh yeah. <laughs> that nice gr- plasticky that, cheese. Mm. That Kraft mac and cheese that's been blowtorched and then melted <laughs> again. Yeah, they, it's so fancy back there. They blow torch. Gord Ramsey just fucking... Uh, there you are. But what, what about what about you? What is new with you? Well, here's my laundry list as always. No, uh, I've been all right, man. Been all right, brother. But there's something that has been going around though. I I woke up and uh, <laughs> no, I'm it's always happened. Who's harassing who, really? This guy Waltz is in here. You guys don't like my soup spilling on your carpet? I'm sorry. I spilled a little bit. And then he fucking's like, it's not even there. just demeans us all the day. I spilled some soup on my shirt. He's like, hey Trey, how are you? I don't care. And uh. <laughs> No, um, we know you're. It's in jest, but uh, <laughs> I've been. Uh, but all right, we. Uh, yeah, we filmed last week. Last week, I went to a Pacers game. Went to the Pacers Bucks game. Nice. Last Wednesday, where freaking Giannis dropped fifty four yeah. on their head, and uh, clearly they had no answer. But what they could do is get the win. So it was crazy. I never, I never seen and like I checked Twitter as it was happening. I was like, this is r- or X or whatever. While it's happening, I'm like, this is insane. And I look, of course, Giannis is number one trending. And I've never seen, like, like been there yeah. <laughs> to see number one trending, you know? It's like we were in Gaza when... Anyway. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. <coughs> we weren't. I swear. No. But, um, so that was interesting. I but, was. yeah. They bo- <laughs> hey, then you got sick. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's not the F gas. But, um... <laughs> Uh, that was tight, and uh, what else, man? Just been chilling, went with the boys here to uh, Louisville on Saturday. We hit up this arcade. We'll have to take you at some point. Yeah, that was nice. They got uh, <laughs> you were you were asleep by the time I we fi- came back. I found out like two days ago, <laughs> two days before, and they're like, "Yeah, uh, Kentucky," and I'm like, "I can't go to Kentucky," and then they're like, "Please," and I was like, I got "No, <laughs> I didn't." And then if I did, if I did go, I knew you could. Dude, this restaurant went on fire. I bet. Saturday sucked. Oh was my it God? It was packed. hell. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, we did uh, DDR. You know, Trey's legs cramped, and because uh, he doesn't take care of himself, he's in there. And um, but it was, it was fine. And uh, <laughs> oh, we had a show at the Cade last week. Shout out to the Cade in Bloomington. There, Jeremy Black and his family's business. There, good stuff. Um, so yeah, man, that's that's kind of a uh, that's kind of it. Um, if, wow. It's getting colder. That was cool. What happened? 
everything went silent and all I could hear was like a what was the what was the sound from? It was just in my head. <laughs> we are witnessing a schizophrenic breakdown on site, man. Do you ever have moments of sound? Do you meditate? <clears throat> when I'm in the sound, no, actually, no. Like when I'm when I like, are we talking? Hold on. Are we saying when you say meditate? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you go. Hey, first off, stop that popping. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what do you mean? Like define meditate. No internal fact, no external factors, nothing going in, no podcast, no, no music, just silence. No. no, that sounds like hell. It sounds like hell. That sounds. I'd rather, I would rather be in Auschwitz than fucking go through that. Honestly, <laughs> at least I'd be listening to something. We'd be singing like hymns, <laughs> something like that. It's not the. It's I don't, don't, don't want to go fucking. Hey man, I'm not trying to listen to. It's not, it's not silence. I don't think dude. they sang. And then be alone with my fuck. They could have. <laughs> they they could have hummed like a tune or something in the gas chamber. Yeah, not. In, I mean, obviously not there. Very a lot of echo in there. I mean, they can't do there. They'd have to do like you know outside At the camps in the in the ghetto or whatever. They were forced to mm. you know when they were forced to go into a specific area, and then not the best singers. The Jewish though, uh, dude. What are you talking? Barbara Streisand. Hello. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the one. <laughs> That's the only one I can. Uh, Seth Rogen, duh. <laughs> um, they sang yeah, you know, you party. remember when the Jews were put into like a specific neighborhood and they're forced there, and then like it was like all go beaten down and shit, and they were like being gunned down in the streets and shit. You'd rather like be what they're there doing today, but uh, oh, bars. Yeah, it's nice. yeah. But you'd, you'd ra- <laughs> I'd rather be there than be alone with my thoughts for however long I would be. Meditating. Five ten minutes, dude. So, like, so you wake up and it's just ah uh, <laughs> until you I, go to bed. I wake up and it's hey, it's hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's like that Nate Bar gets a joke. I wake up, my day's going. <laughs> it's just <laughs> happening in front of me. I wake up to the sound of an alarm and then I immediately, immediately, I'm checking my phone for whoever texted me, if anything's there. I'm immediately active when I wake up. Straight to the phone. Straight and, to yeah. my life. Yeah. And then as I'm shower, I, I just don't want to sit alone. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's, bro, it's hard, bro. Which it's, is why I'm like hard. the most unsuitable boyfriend because I want to be <laughs> by myself, but I don't want to be alone. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You don't want to be by yourself. No, no you do. I, I want to be by myself, but oh. I don't want to be alone. I just need somebody like around. Yeah, like a girlfriend. Yeah, but I don't want her like near me all the time. <laughs> like buzz off. I just want her like in the room. Like over, six to six like feet away. Like if she's working on something, I just want to know that she's there. Yeah. I don't want her to be like. Well, you want to get food? You want a writer? You want to? You want? You want? You want? You want? You want just company. Just give me you a want, mannequin. You want? Just give me a living mannequin. You want? Wait a minute. And that's <laughs> it. <laughs> So you do want someone near you? No, just in the room. You want a mannequin in your house, dude? No, you're not getting what I'm saying. I'm saying I just want... Let's talk headlines. <laughs> well, cue it. I, no, it's not. There's cue it. Not yet. Editing. Let's finish this. So, uh, Don't you berate him. <laughs> He's going through it himself. Uh, <laughs> just me in about four hours. No, um, you like company. Let's put it that way. Yeah. There not direct company. Right. I want in, like, I want, <laughs> like, this is why I miss having a roommate. Like, I want to have my own space. Yeah. Where I'm just sitting alone. Yeah. But I still want to have the option of, like, going into the next room and being like, yo, give me a hug. You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. Like that. Yeah, what up? And then yeah. just walk away. Just knowing that someone's there. Yeah. I had a scary encounter last night. I don't know. I forgot to tell you about this. What happened last night? Well, I thought someone was breaking into my house. Oh. That didn't happen. What made you think that? Uh, Because I was half asleep. (laughs) And what happened was I was having a nightmare mixing to reality. So in the dream, I'm at my house in the door. That. No. (laughs) I'm I'm in my house. In the dream. In the nightmare. And uh, cue some scary music. Nee, 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 nee. Uh, mm-hmm. So like, I'm I'm in my bed. You know where my bed is up on the wall. Yeah, on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have a bed frame. It's too much money. I don't want it. It's so big. Anyway, but so I'm upstairs and I'm half asleep and I hear like my door like, dun, 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 like someone was shaking it and shit. And then I have my window open 
um, like the blinds open. Yeah. So light can come in. Mm. And I like see like a shadow person like running across like because the shadows are coming across. Oh my god! And I was like, oh my god, what's happening? The piano. And so like I just get up and I'm like looking over like at the window just trying to see what's happening, and the door like boom boom like it shakes again. But there's nobody. There's no shadows there. Stop! You're seeing it shake. Yeah. Stop. So then I go downstairs and as I open the door, I wake up back in my bed. Mm. So it was like a time loop, and I was like, Whoa. "Hell no, nah, dude! Like, Whoa, you low key like lucid dreamed." That was so weird, right? But, um, did you take how much Nyquil did you take? <laughs> How'd you know I took Nyquil? <laughs> because this is text. <laughs> <laughs> this is text, <laughs> but we'll give it away. <laughs> I, I did. I took one full, like you know, the cup. Oh, dude! I filled that bitch up. To That's the, a shot. What's that called? Uh, like that, cl- like you know, when you fill like when liquids there, and there's like that thin, like clear layer on top. You know what I'm talking about? The min- not, oh the my god, stuff. fuck. Uh, you know what I'm talking. About. I, I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm not fucking Neil deGrasse I'm Tyson, about the but meniscus, whatever you get. I know. Yeah, that clear shit. That clear shit was on top of the, <laughs> like, just barely. You were balancing it. a playing card on it, dude. I took this shit like a shot. I was like, think, dude. You know, that, yeah, no. Uh, it'd be even weird if you were like, what's Nyquil? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude. I took some Benadryl Woo. and I stayed up for 12 hours. And then yeah, <laughs> saw, saw the hat yeah, and yeah. Fucking, uh, <laughs> just hallucinating all day. <laughs> Yeah, Golly, but, yeah. man. So, um, Trippy dreams of Nyquil. Shout out Nyquil. <laughs> Seriously, um, y'all make an amazing product. That shit is gas, dude. I don't <laughs> even need melatonin when I take that. Dude, That's I mean, melatonin fucking... They got some lean in there, too, bro. Nyquil has funded more There's rappers' parties. There's a reason why they parties. have fucking ID now, bro. Yes, there is. It's I been, didn't... I was actually this pissed goddamn because Sudafed. I, I went to... To pseudo-cook. Yeah. Breaking Bad. Yeah. <laughs> I went to CVS and I mm. didn't have my ID because I left my And the guy, I'm a, they, I'm a regular there, bro. They fucking know me. Oh, yeah. It's like all the workers. And I'm Apple paying, and then the ID thing was like, show the motherfucker your ID. <laughs> and the guy's like, I already know you're fine. And I was nice. Like, I was like, why did, why does this, what is this, why? Like, why, why NyQuil? Because I didn't think that you was... You didn't know, yeah. I thought I knew it was cough syrup, but I didn't consider NyQuil as cough syrup mm-hmm. for whatever reason. He was like, yeah, man, just the other week, like we had a bo- we had a guy come in with like a basket full. No. And he was saying that he was like working for like the like a non-profit like shelter. And he was like, yeah, mm-hmm. we just put, we keep these on in stock, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the but guy like, was like, okay. you don't need that many. <laughs> like, he, like you know, like the the baskets full. He filled two of them up. Two baskets, yeah, dude, brother. One would have been and believable. I was like, all right, come on, guy. <laughs> but, uh, He's like, I made all these kids sick. We got lots of kids. So, kids, um, if you want to buy some lean, I'm clear. Uh, <laughs> got my ID on I hand. My, I got my Sam's Club member ID. To buy that shit in yeah, bulk. Yeah, we can only do up to what five bottles <laughs> before. I want to know what limited at, is a Sam's Club. I want to see what they'll say. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like I've seen it before. Maybe like, maybe like five, maybe ten. Loki, it's not a lot. Hmm. Because look, the thing about Breaking I, Bad, those motherfuckers around that? distilled it for its. Sorry, oh, you burped. Okay. Yeah, I think like I thought it was me. What? <laughs> I thought you kind of whiffed me or something. No. Like, Whoa. <laughs> From all the <laughs> brother, you need to brush. <laughs> I'm about to sit in the sauna after we hang out. By the way. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's yeah. a good. I almost texted you the other day, like, when you working out? <laughs> like, oh, just yeah. win. <laughs> but, uh... Um, all right, man. Let's cool. Let's get in the headlines. Hit it. Dun, 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 dun. I, uh, I certainly will there. Headlines, baby. This is our segment where Yosef and I talk about some news that's been happening in the last week, ranging from pulp culture to you know local stuff even but usually it's pop culture your movies your sports even your tv shows all right so let's get into it this first headline here i didn't know about this and i found out on x uh late last week that apparently warner brothers has did another batgirl treatment Uh to another poor finished movie and that movie is the wily coyote movie from looney tunes which we all grew up loving. Um, so basically, what was the movie? 
it was a it was like a Roger Rabbit style movie, a live action slash animated oh. hybrid movie. I think Will Forte was in it, and uh, Warner Brothers essentially gave it the bad girl treatment. They were like, "This shit's like a fucking loss, no doubt." So they decided to cut their losses and get the tax. That movie must have been ass right off there. <laughs> But it's like, I mean, who knows? Who knows? I mean... I mean, if it's David Zaslav, I mean, yeah, he's a fucking moron. I mean, look at his judgment history, right? It's just schmuck. So, it's a bummer, you know. Looney Tunes would have been fun. They made a whole thing. You good? Yeah, I <laughs> He's just so mad. Um, and, yeah, I mean, like, I would have liked to at least see the movie. I don't get what these things are about not even releasing it. I mean, they already finished it. Y- yeah, like, back... I mean, I guess Batgirl was almost done, but, like... Batgirl, I think. I, Batgirl, I think they were like, this is... They saw the costume, and they're like, we're fucking get this over. <laughs> this is not going to hit. The co- Especially like, with their fucking track record. Keep filming. Like, the, the Flash, yeah, they had they put so much money in that. They're like, dude, we got to get something back. That movie had, like, what, like a $50 million budget or something like that? What would you say? Batgirl? 15 or 50? 50. 50, 50. Yeah, 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 yeah. 50 to so 60. Like, ah, just, ah, just grab it off. Yeah. yeah. Black Bad Girl. Come Honestly, on. I feel like Bad Girl could have done better than The Flash did. I don't dude. think so, man. I think really, well, I think whatever they co- were coming out with was gonna be shit. But The regardless. Flash was just so bad. And they were proud of that movie. So imagine how <laughs> bad. <laughs> imagine how bad oh, that was. It's gonna almost be. impossible to make movies this bad, but they they yeah. somehow it's in, right. Give, I, remember, I remember we, I, we <laughs> you were like, don't watch it. I literally, yeah. And then I was like, I'm going to watch it. And so I watched it with Ben and Jackson, and I was like, this isn't real. Just laughing. I'm live tweeting, like, hating the <laughs> movie. Yeah, and man. I, like, there was a point where, like, there was some plot thing that they were trying to explain. And I was like, what? Out loud in the theater? <laughs> and yeah, so yeah. everyone was like, oh, God, what the fuck? <laughs> but, uh, but um, like, yeah, this guy's right. I would have at least liked to see her as Batgirl. Uh, what's her name? I don't know. I think she was in a exactly West Side Story. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, the hell with Ezra, dude. You creep. But uh, but uh, it's like we've seen that at least. We saw that before. Is why the coyote shit. But anyway, be honest, I probably wouldn't have seen it. It was probably it would have been like a kid thing. I, I didn't even hear about this fucking thing. Well, I mean, it wasn't ready for marketing yet, but. But uh, it was in production and, uh, you know, uh, Looney Tunes kind of crossover thing there. Uh, Could have been fun. But uh, someone's trying to log into my Apple ID in China. That's cool. <laughs> Yo, we got fuck it. We got DDoS someone? Dude, let's go. <laughs> we got we got literally real hackers in the other room. Um, they could help us. Wait, so but anyway. Sorry, sorry, yeah. I checked that. I yeah. saw that. You you like I, I thought you like Looney Tunes a lot growing up. I fucking stuff. love Looney Tunes. Yeah. But they ever since like I love Tom and Jerry. I loved Looney Tunes. The old shit. This new shit. I don't even want to give a chance to because I know it's gonna piss me off. Like Tom and Jerry are friends now. Like they were friends before, but they don't even do the violent shit. Really? Speaking, That's the whole talk. thing. They're they talking. talk. Like you know, remember the movie? The Chris Pratt voice. Was one thing. Uh, Garfield. Oh yeah. But uh. uh it's top of mind. That that I just, what was sorry? What was this? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was just president. I was just letting you roll, <laughs> like Joe Biden. Do worse. <laughs> <laughs> that that wasn't me who oh, fell. Bye, Biden. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you said to, uh, I was just thinking, like, because I thought you know you were a fan of Lewington's growing up, kind of like a nostalgia thing. It could have been. Yeah, but like I would, I like. Cause I didn't, I didn't see any like advertising for this movie, so I don't, I don't even know what to be Fair. mad at, to be honest. Yeah. But didn't I, even I did see, see like a bunch of people be like, <laughs> they were instructing their agents to like cut ties with Warner Brothers over this movie or something like that. They're like, yeah, we're not, we're not making this. Uh, oh, like don't yeah, work like, with like them. Actors and directors like, yeah, we're not. Dude, honestly, I can't think of a more heartbreaking fucking thing yeah. than spending. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, imagine you and I work on a movie for like 18 months. Mm-hmm. We pour our blood, sweat, and tears in this shit. We got actors. It's animated. It's, we're, we're laughing. We're crying. And then they're like, sorry, fam. We ain't going to show nobody this shit. You can't even show your family, man. We're going to steal the cut. I mean, dude, just make it straight to DVD at that point. Something. Like, straight to that, fucking. Is it that fucking bad that it Laser disc, shelved? bro. Please. 
Like it's it's probably gonna be a fucking kids movie. I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. It's like, co- it, they're trying to do like Roger Rabbit, so it's no, kind of like kind of both. I, I didn't guess. see that movie, so Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I mean, yeah, like it's kids, isn't it? Like Space Jam. Think Space Jam. Have kids. you seen Space Jam? Kids. I know, yeah, Kidding. but like it has adults in it. But yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. I hear what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, if it's just for kids, who give, put these fucking little tykes on fucking uh, Cartoon Network and then there you go. What'd you call them? Tykes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just making no, sure. Just, just um, put it. Give them like a uh, Trolls World Tour. Yeah, that movie got the fucking green light. That m- well, you know, you you bro, Universal has been killing it so much. They're like, fucking, who cares if we lose money, bro? They, That's what I'm saying. They got Mario Warner money. Warner Brothers, by the way, they've been putting all their eggs and baskets into these fucking shitty movies, and then they're like, but what? But can't we not get it for Nolan? Oh, yes. Oh, actually, he did say that they fumble that fucking bag. Oh, dude, they're, they're, they've like, been f- on a fuck you, make me see Christopher though, Nolan. Fuck you, no. But he said he's he he said it's water under the bridge and apparently they would be open to working to get he's open to working. Yeah, because he again. showed that he could he should he's, he fuck bro he bent Warner Brothers over. Of course he's gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah. Warner yeah. Brothers is gonna be the one that's gonna be like, we're not doing that again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck him. Uh, I don't like Warner Brothers. I miss old Warner Brothers. I miss this is Netflix. Oh. <laughs> 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 but, Imagine uh, I'm just like, huh? <laughs> Str- but, Stranger uh, Things. Uh, I just miss what, prior the pre-Discovery merger, Warner Brothers. Right. Yeah. That man. was Interstellar. Peak, I, it was just more peak Nolan stuff. Warner Brothers. They had HBO um, Max. The exclusives. Everything was on. Like they weren't taking shit off and like. Yeah. Making these stupid moves. They were fully. <sighs> On the creative spectrum. Yeah, man, it was sick. And Remember then shit like the idol happens, where like they give the fucking David Z- they made David Zaslav look like a fucking genius, and made it seem like he had a point. You ever see the idol? No. Don't. I know you told me <laughs> many times. Bro, two se- I it was like six episodes. What's long? his name? Sam. Uh, the weekend. Barry. Uh, what's his goddamn name? <laughs> Sam Levinson. Levinson, thank you. That fucking. Dude, he's so hit or miss. It's ridiculous. Just he's just too stick horny. to the kids fucking he's and too uh, horny. Man. That's your whole thing. Yeah, dude. People were complaining about Euphoria. Hey, <laughs> I watch all Euphoria. Euphoria. That's has crazy. Moments. Like it's it's not a perfect show, obviously. But damn, there are some fucking great cinematography, great acting, great show, man. Just, you know, there's damn. moments of like fuck. The Idol. <laughs> it was like six episodes long, something like that. I don't know. Six episodes. I couldn't. Even make it past episode two before I was like, "Yeah, I'm calling it, dude. What the fuck am I?" I felt disgusted. That's crazy. Like we were watching that's, uh, that's what was saying that show, a lot. Naked Attraction. And yes, we have been. Yes, we we're watching that shit. And remember how I was like, "Dude, this made me want to like find God." Right, right. This was the this idol was before that. The idol still. Like, I remembered where I got that feeling from. <laughs> it was the show. <laughs> you know, the weekend being raw like, bodies. We're so late. Like the weekend just. He can act, can't act like the character he was playing. I don't think anyone should be reading what they were saying, though. That's what the thing was. I look at some of these screen God, caps, bro. and it's like, babe, you, my cum is all over your yeah. face. I'm like, what the fuck? Is this like a middle schooler, Literally. A middle schooler writing porn? Like, Dog, what the fuck is this? So, uh, the actors got fucked, in my opinion, with this, uh, this shit yeah. of a script. There's, like like I said, there's great moments of acting from Lily Rose Depp, who, by the way, yeah, fine so. good. Um, Let's just move on here to... Let's do the SAG strikes over. Yeah, honestly. That's a quick one. Yeah, so now we're going to get decent movies instead of the fucking dog shit ones we get <laughs> for a minute. Yeah, exactly. So was, Can I pull up what was playing in theaters the other day, by the way? Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, dude, movies in theaters. I, oh, my God. This was when I was like, fuck, the theaters are fucked. <laughs> like, really? You know how long I've been like... <laughs> you know how long I've been like... The no, staunch never, supporter. I'm, I'm never going to not go to the movies. I saw the list of movies they were playing, and I was like, Ugh. Mid-strike, it's like, <laughs> what the hell are y'all slinging on me? <laughs> I was like, fuck. Dude. Any, any movie worth watching I already saw. Dude, ridiculous. Like, okay, let's bring this back. You have a screen cap there? <laughs> the Persian version, again. <sighs> hey, bro. Fuck you. Bye, Sav. Hold on. Now I'm going to call that it. Listen, they have enough reasons uh, to hate us. No, yeah. we're like sister cultures, but please. Shut up, man. Nah, man. Make I'm... better shit. Don't say out of comedy until we get like a Seth Rogen type guy to come in. 
you know dude ne- like, this one guy Safar Rajil <laughs> wait for that guy to come in <laughs> it's just right, let him handle that part just stick to <laughs> <laughs> but uh and then dude like, it's just not what's after life i don't know after death after yeah, that's death what i was about to bring up oh like man spiritual, another sp- documentary from uh, the makers of based on news patriot news. what's the what was the one fucking patriotic child kidnapping that's not even playing anymore. sound of music yeah. sound sound of freedom i would have seen that but i haven't seen it yet yeah. I would have gotten to see that because apparently that's really good. Yeah. But even then, that's not playing anymore. We got John Cena in a fucking movie called Dude, Freelance. Someone asked me about that. I was like, I don't even know what you're who talking the about. Fuck, ask for that. I think who's it? John Cena. Okay, John Cena is a solid actor. He's better than The Rock in some cases. When like The Rock is like when The Rock isn't trying to be like the macho man on the screen. Wasn't he that one superhero? Uh, Peacemaker or some shit. Yeah, that show is yeah. solid. Yeah. I didn't finish it. I got bored. It's overrated as fuck. There, James Gunn's great, but man, stop stroking him off. Like everything he touches is amazing. It's so. Stu- Let me get back to that. anyway. <laughs> um, what else? Fucking what happens later? What happens in the box office when this movie <laughs> releases? What, what happens later? Know. Anatomy Chapter of Chapter Eighteen. Uh, an- Chapter eleven. The fuck. Yeah, an- anatomy of a fall. I don't know what that is, but let's talk. Let's call it anatomy of a flop because I never fucking <laughs> heard of that shit. I didn't even know it came out. Let's go. The Exorcist believer. They waited till fucking uh, what's his name died to fucking release it. The day the original director died, they and they sent his trail. Like what's his name? Freakin William Freakin. Oh uh, yeah, the, he died. The Exorcist. Yeah, yeah. The day that man was buried. The Warner, whoever, whatever studio, um, um, because he was like, I'm never making a sequel like to this movie ever. Shit, and if they do, it's that? because I'm dead or whatever the fuck, yeah. or something like that. The day he was in the ground, Warner, whoever studio sent this trailer out to theaters across the globe, and I went to the theaters the day oh after. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. And guess what pops up? Exorcist Believer. What a shit movie. <laughs> God, he haunted them. Fuck you, man. He cursed them. I believe How dare you. this movie suck off. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> all right, all right, keep it, let's keep that going. <laughs> Journey to Bethlehem. It's a musical about. Oh my God! I didn't even know that's what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? See? How do they make a musical about Joseph and Mary, bro? During crit dog. Fucking! Will you please hand me that? <laughs> Journey to fucking hell is where the movie makers of that are going. It's <laughs> going straight to hell. That baby, I did not Bo- give birth. Box office purgatory is what that's going to be called. <laughs> <laughs> Killers of the Flower Moon. Damnation. Okay, Scorsese. Yeah, whatever. We got that. They got you know my Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh my god. Five. More like five new Lamborghinis in the studio execs fucking office. <laughs> oh my dude. god! You know how much money that movie made opening weekend? Oh, that movie made it like did smash, didn't it? Or something. Damn, dude! And fucking Markiplier's not even in it. The <sighs> Kingmaker, bad guy. Yeah, surprising. Uh, and then the Marvels. Hey, hey! Remember Captain Marvel? <laughs> now there's three of them. <laughs> <laughs> not a single one was a good. There was Miss Marvel, uh, the show. There's Captain Marvel, the movie. Miss Marvel had, like, one of the lowest viewings in the fucking Disney Plus history of the shows. Captain Marvel was so ass and garbage. I actually never saw it. It's, like, one of the most hated movies in the MCU. They decided to put these movies fucking together. And guess what? You get a worse movie with even lower box office. <laughs> That's great. Let's marvel at that fucking failure of a fucking... Thing anyway. beautiful. There you go. Where so the movie hell? theaters are fucked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> After this, but but now that the but strike's now over, that the strike's over, fucking we're a. gonna get actually decent. Yeah. Movies. Now they can promote them. They can bring them back. They can actually oh release God. them. Oh my God. So <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, was beautiful. <laughs> that Joseph and Mary musical. <laughs> <laughs> Surety to hell. <laughs> thought about that. Oh get that manger God. over here. Uh, that's wow. See, you don't even think it's that bad till so you really break it down. Oh my God. <laughs> Who thinks of shit like that? Who is like, you know what? You know, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus' mom and dad, they get 
They don't. Who? When? When did we get the La La Land treatment there? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> they don't sing enough. <laughs> The three wise men come on screen. Oh, like, my God. <laughs> they're fucking hitting the Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing like the, <laughs> the Bollywood like light bulb shit. You know? <laughs> yeah, of course. <clears throat> like, you think Will Smith will do it? <laughs> <laughs> Just a fucking genie without the blue. <laughs> you think we can uh, get Al Jazeera to phone this movie? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and now some promotion for... <laughs> Really? <laughs> Over the airwaves. Especially during the fucking whole Palestine and Israel thing. They're like, holy land. On a lighter note. <laughs> holy land, holy fun musical. <laughs> Some guy in his office. Get Goldberg on the phone. <laughs> Need that money. Okay. Um. Well, we'll just wrap up the movie stuff here. Uh, Inside Out 2 got a little teaser trailer and oh. poster there coming out. I didn't out even like the first one. Next one. June. Are you serious? I was like, it's nice. It was okay. I was over it as shit. I like Elemental more. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not saying that. Now I know you're crazy. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> I would never say but that. But I, I guess it was like one of the most viewed trailers that Disney ever had like in like I just 48 don't. hours. Because I mean, bro, if the first one's like, it's like one of Pixar's best. Like it really is. So uh, yeah. that one is coming that out marked the fall next the June. Month. That was around then when I felt like Pixar was falling off a little. Like a- afterward, it was like a slight divot. Was it Incredibles two before or after that? that was Way like, after. So that was like okay, Incredibles two went up like a little bit, and then after that, I forget what else released after. Then you're going into your Toy Story four. Not bad. Okay, so right. we keep that same level right. plateau. All right. Then they got Soul. Okay, it took a little bit of a divot, but yeah. Soul, and then they gave you, um, what was the first of those? Wait, Turning Red. Oh, then they plummeted ah! after that. <laughs> and then it came out Elemental, and everybody was like, oh, it's coming. No! <laughs> Elemental was like a cough further down. on the Wii. Yeah, exactly. Fucking, anyway. But this could be the one to hopefully get him at least back in the same fucking ballpark. But, I'm not going to watch it. Just but, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't even like the first one that much, so there's no point. The Unless the second one has like Danny DeVito hitting the gritty, like <laughs> something in the middle for me. He just, play. He should play like whimsy. <laughs> just something in the middle for me. <laughs> just like, hey, yeah, like, have you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> That's the short in the beginning. <laughs> they animate Danny DeVito. Hey, oh my like, what the right. hell was that? You got me there. <laughs> She's like shit. Uh, um. Anyway, yo. Um. This is low key a good lot of the week, but uh. What? Well. So, an NBC Universal intern accidentally added that he's working on Shrek 5 Fucking in it. his LinkedIn bio, leaking the fact that Shrek 5 is coming out in 2025. So, that movie's scrapped now. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to get the WB treatment. But I thought that was so funny. Like, out of all the ways, because he's probably like... Fucking uh, developed and led, this you know, like when animation. You're try- when you're making your resume, you're in trying Shrek to 5. fill it out with as much as you can. Exactly. So he's like... He's like <laughs> Ah, fuck yeah, I'll put it. It'll be out by then. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> the, stri- the strike happens, and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 he's yeah. Trying to update it, but it won't update. Fuck, he's fuck. Like, oh, shit. LinkedIn not loading. Yeah, so uh, that's that was a hilarious way to find out. But hey, Shrek fans rejoice. Another Shrek on the way. Hey, man. There's five Shrek movies? There's going to be. Damn. With this kid's help. Damn. And you know what else? There's going to be a, a, a not a fifth, but a sixth of what? GTA. Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> okay, I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. In. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ah, no. <laughs> GTA. <clears throat> so Rocksteady, <laughs> Rocksteady released like a bunch of tweets last week where they were like, "Want to thank the fans for all their patience. I want to thank our staff." And then finally, the last one of the thread was like, "We'd like to proudly announce that the next installment of Grand Theft Auto will be announced." next month if it's based off the stuff that we found out earlier i think it's going to be either the most loved or most hated can you remind me what that was based in was Um, it like south beach i think so miami-ish i think Hmm. but uh you you were the one who told me about it you were like it's going to be like yeah the leaks about like the story bro doesn't that seem like that was a year ago yeah i think it was last summer (laughs) crazy when they fucking they got (laughs) fucked they were like fucking over this close (laughs) yeah yeah literally but uh, it's it's like the first, the first, every other goddamn week you'll see Rock, Rock, did I say Rock Steady? Rock Star. Yeah. Rock Star 
trending and every time I, I fall for it i go this is the day and it's like online expansion yeah. you're gonna have five, 15 gold guns in your cock or some shit <laughs> <laughs> you're like that was pretty fun <laughs> but and now for god for the last father fucking time <laughs> this is actually like real and we're all just like yum, 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 just feeding off I of it so i hope they go the say it like the saints row route where you need to like customize your character that'd be cool oh my that'd god cool. Ooh, let's but have it still it. has like the gta level of detail in it oh, oh so baby sweet. can we can you imagine remember when did you know the saints row came out with the uh, another game did you know about this yeah, they like rebooted it. Did you did you ever see any gameplay of it? I did a little bit. Yeah. Did you want to kill yourself? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. I was like, what have you done? Dude, this is like the complete opposite end of what Saint Row Saint Row turned into. Yeah, Saint Row was a gag of a time. He got dildos and because first Saint Row started off as like <laughs> Baseball a serial bags. fucking like, like right. a serious the game first two show, yeah show game right and we're still sick <laughs> yeah free roam whatever then three was when they're like fuck it we're partying. <laughs> There's like gay jokes, shit like that. A <laughs> purple giant dildo that, bat. That's literally like the one of the most powerful melee weapons. Oh in my the god! Game. Yeah, beat the shit out of a guy. That was peak saints. Like, and then there was the fourth one, which is really just like DLC. Damn. I know, DLC, dude. Yeah. Which is just like same game, but there's like superpowers and aliens and shit like right, that. Right, right. Shoot, I got it at the Steam summer sale for like seven bucks. Nice. Played the shit out of it, <laughs> and then beat it, and yeah. then never picked it up again. Yeah. But uh, and then you got the new one. It's just the out. Saints Row or like Saints Row yeah, re- remastered. It's fucking dog shit. I, don't, I, I just see, yeah. down to the gameplay mechanics too. Just everything about. I played it because my friend bought it, thinking that it, it was, was like be, OG. Yeah. 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 Honestly, just go back and replay three at this point. Ugh, everybody's yeah. unbearable. Well, everybody's gonna get their shit pushed in. That's not and then GTA, GTA Six. So that brother, game. did you ever play Red Dead Christmas? Red Dead 2? Not two. No. Play that game. I know it's yeah. And then you'll see like what the potential for GTA Six is in terms. Oh of my like god! The amount of detail in the fucking game. I'm gonna cry. Oh, it's good. I fucking love Red Dead Two. Red Dead Two is probably my favorite Rockstar game. Right, right on, Ever. right on. And Ever. yeah, so fucking knowing what they do with the current generation, right? Like fucking yeah. GTA Five was on Xbox 360. Yeah, bro. That's the different. fan never sounded so, so loud. So fucking long. So now, yeah. ten years <clears throat> in ten years. We're going to get a trailer <laughs> for a game which sadly, sadly, mm-hmm. will probably come out early 2025, if I had to guess. Um, so uh, I'm not going to be alive around then. you gotta, you got to stay alive. <laughs> I mean, if the world hasn't blown up yet. When you, <laughs> if you're going through something <laughs> and you're thinking, I'm going to end it all, hey, you guys still got GTA 6. Do it after you play Spider-Man 2. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> the Bear season. That got, that got <laughs> announced to that's Game of the Year uh, nominee. Of course. Yeah, I haven't even played it and I get it. <laughs> it's going to be so fucking good. I would love to. I can't wait to fucking. Yeah. God, just so much. Ooh, yeah. what a time. Yeah. And finally, The Bear renewed officially for season three. Hey, that one episode you were telling me about, like the, the fucking yeah. movie one. My God. The fucking, uh, like the family dinner. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, the bro, shout episode, out The Bear. Hands down. Good shit, opinion. man. I saw. I saw. I saw a comedian. A comedian was here this past weekend. His name was Carmen Christopher. He was on the show. He was like the friend, like the manager friend. If you remember, he had like a suit on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was him because he's from Chicago and he was fucking hilarious, dude. But I was like, they were like, you've seen it, oh, your headline from the Bear. I was like, fucking who? And I was like, oh my god. So and then you were like, you yeah. gotta meet my friend Joseph. I <laughs> swear, dude. Yeah. yeah he'll, he'll fucking make the show real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, more dude. More real than it already you is. You thought dude. fucking he was fucking PTSD. <laughs> You couldn't even watch it for a little bit, but yeah. But now it's like a fucking. It's <clears throat> like, I, I relived everything again on the fucking on the Friday Saturday. Oh my god! I we gotta have Jesus. the kebab, <laughs> 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 our version. <Ish-ish>. But <laughs> yeah. But anyway, man. Um. Yeah. So that's fucking. That's all the headlines. That that's really it, man. I'm really quick. You want to? Oh, hey, remember when we were talking about NBA stuff? Let me yes. About NBA stuff real quick. Yes, I'm gonna hey, pull. Remember up. how I said that the James Harden trade isn't gonna be that fucking nice? Guess what's happening? Oh and four, <laughs> oh and four. Fuck you, dude. That's all. <laughs> there was that one. Uh, uh, he was in the analyst. I don't know his name. Um, but he went on like that rant on like TNT about like Charles James Barkley. Har- no, 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 not TNT. Kenny the Jet. ESPN oh. or Sports Sports Center. One of them. Stephen A. I don't know, but 
He was talking about like James Harden situation every time. Did you see that thing on X? Like of the clip of the guy who's just cooking James Harden's like whole career for like damn a minute and a half straight, like no stuttering, nothing. He was like, "You went to this team, this happened. You went to this team, this happened. You asked for this, you got this, and you oh, still yeah. underperform. Oh, yeah. And then you go to this team and you blame them, you blame them, and then he ends with like, "You're not the system, you're the problem. oh you're the yes, system. yes, I yes, was like." Low key, it could have been Mark Jackson. Uh, I was like, finally, somebody gets me, dude. They, they yeah. put my words into like eloquence. It's perfect. Oh, it was, yeah, poetry in motion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, clearly. Dude, yeah, it was like the system. James Harden, I am the system. The system. It just like holds ball for the whole possession. It's, a, it's like a video of Julian, Julian Newman just looking. <laughs> <laughs> No, literally, fucking fl- get fucking denied. <laughs> like it's oh like my Paul god, George is like I'm wide open. <laughs> <laughs> so, question of the week. I put out this question last week to my, our followers. Can't wait to bully you guys now. And now <laughs> we're gonna hear your answers, so Yosef can destroy you. Yeah. The question you I asked was, yeah. The question I asked was, what would you want as your last meal? Okay. Right. And uh, while we think about that, well, I'm gonna read for your answers here. At Mr. John Moore, my boy John Moore, out of any put the never ending pasta and breadsticks because you can't kill me. You can't kill me until the if I'm still Shut eating. Shut the fuck up with your eye funny joke, dude. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's actually pretty good. Okay. <laughs> what kind of pasta? I'm, I imagine. Ooh, good point. Wait, good Alfredo, point. Because at a certain point, you'd have to stop. <laughs> you just have to. Well, that will kill you. So well, yeah. You go no, out on your maybe. own term. No, actually, well, here's the thing. You, we've all been so full you can't eat anymore. And that's like, so are you going to go with a lighter pasta? Like fucking mm. pasta e oilo or garlic e oilo or something light? Mm. Or are you going to go fucking Alfredo? I, I just, I, I'm probably going to inject the Alfredo until I can't see anymore. That's what I'm saying. If, I think I would do like, if I had, if just, the food was pasta, I'm going straight Alfredo and chicken. You got to. Get the broccoli in there, even sopping breadsticks. I know, dude. This is <laughs> fucked up. We low key, we good. Um, shout out to at Omar S O four. My hyphenated identity is saying he's Afghan. So, Kobali with kofta, mantu, kebab. Uh, oh, he mixed it up. He said, uh, wagyu, wagyu, wagyu steak, a wagyu burger, wagyu burger, and a shake. God damn, Omar. Fat fuck. Let's go, Bajim. It's a good... It's a good... For the Afghans. All right. Yeah. At Enjoy Quantum, Jillian Burley. Cheese fries and sushi. Interesting combination. Disgusting. Interesting oh, combination. Oh, what's this guy's name? No, no, no. It's, it's, a, it's a she. What's it's a name? Jillian. Jillian? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, what kind of fuck? You gonna go out with that in your mouth, bro? <laughs> just fucking cheese. Just think about any type of cheese fries that you would get. Now get a fucking California roll on the side. I don't the think the I can. It's wrong. like different worlds, man. Bro, it's she's different white worlds. As fuck, isn't well, she is, but. <laughs> oh my god. But, but Jillian, I love it's like you, but. I want um, begging bites and the bagel on the side. <laughs> wait. Begging bites, the fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not dog food, but two of the opposite foods on the spectrum. Those are quite different worlds, but <laughs> God protect you. At Willow, cheese whiz. She's gonna put cheese whiz in the sushi. Will, <laughs> yeah. Willow Waddell. I don't want a last meal, honestly. I'm sorry, Willow. I'm so, uh, please, I, please get some help if you need. Um, the, uh, it's a very sad one. Um, yeah, Chance the comedian <laughs> <laughs> said, "Cold pizza and ranch, the Midwestern delicacy." All right, Chance. Um, Bro's living the fucking, like, depressed college student life. Bro. Yeah, you know you can have a meal that you don't have to yeah, wake up to. Fucking microwaving, dude. And, uh, you don't want a hot meal as your last fucking meal? <sighs> it's like saying, what, would you eat a popsicle as your last meal? No. <laughs> exactly. Shove it up your ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> a cold enema. <laughs> <laughs> it's never-ending pasta at Olive Garden. How? It's the it's the 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 thing that they got going on the deal like it's like you just get oh yeah popcorn. you're right well okay we're going we're going pasta and finally Todd Probus the never ending pasta bowl at Olive Garden let's <laughs> go <laughs> all right what's yours all name? right bro I thought about this I th- very simple I thought about it too just a oh, different context just a very you know I'm out of here give me a beautiful just a steak uh-huh. 
give me some mashed potatoes, uh-huh. give me some mac and cheese, uh-huh. some green beans. Uh-huh. That's the thing there. And then I'll have a nice, warm... <sighs> I know, right? We're like thinking about it. And finally, yeah, I have, I give like me a, like a cold soup. Give me, me, give me like <laughs> wait, you, you can do better than that. And, uh, the soup's great though. Uh, giant, uh, part like a chocolate chip pazuki with uh, Bro, let me ice cream on you. top. That's nice. Yeah, I fuck with it. All right, let me tell you something. Go ahead. I'm getting that fucking biggest like a like a twenty inch fucking deep dish pizza. Mm. I'm talking stuff, dude. I'm just like stuffing that shit like a OnlyFans girl on a Friday. Stuffed. Okay. New content. I'm getting, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that on the side, dude. I'm getting one fucking fat, like, you know, like filet mignon is the tenderloin. Uh-huh. I'm cooking that whole tenderloin. Ding, 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 ding. Chopping that shit. The whole tenderloin. Tenderloin's this big. Deep dish on the side. Got some fucking Alfredo pasta, obviously, with some chicken. I'm not even... That's just, like, the starter kit, dude. The next, I'm down in, like, three Five Guys burgers, <laughs> minimum. All right. You took it as, like... I'm quadruple The last buffet. Each burger. Mm. Chicken lo mein on the side, bro. I'm fucking going through... I'm going bro, coast to this coast. This is just your favorite food. <laughs> you can't do I'm this. Get, you have to pick no, one. Wait, wait, you can't that's do meal. this. That's one meal. You... Then, 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 then the sweets. The sweets. Okay. 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 All right. A fucking red velvet cake, dude. Red velvet... But none of that fucking... Uh, like, no fruits or not. Not just the right. whole... How big is this? That's like 12 inches, right? 12? Around. Yeah, around. Yeah. Circumference wise, You're Right, 12. right. <sighs> Sam's Club quality, so it's just diabetic nightmare, dude. Injected with like, uh, with cane, the Pils- sugar the Pilsbury cane. Pillsbury boy, his fucking semen creaming in there, dude. That's how sweet it's gonna be, bro. Tickle that belly. That's that's my final. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, thing. you did something amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you have coined a new thing, a new phrase, which I don't think anyone's ever said before. <laughs> Deep dish. On the side. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't. That was the most gluttonous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> okay. Lada oh, of the week. I'm we got to no, no, We got to eat. Lada of the week. What do you got? Dude. I Wait. Do you say yours? I had okay. one. I fucking forgot it though. They're fucking making a Mean Girls remake. No reason to fucking don't go to it. Go. I forgot. Really? But fuck. No, no. It was um, um, um. Elon Musk. Elon mm. Musk. The Cybertruck shit. What's With? going on? What do you mean? What's going on here? They, what? they, they showed the, like, the quality control issue. First of all, they're supposed to release like in a couple months, right? Oh, okay. They're finally going to fulfill the orders. Somebody took a video of like the uh, the, the quality control in the fucking cars. Uh-huh. The panel gaps. All fucking wide and shit. Looks cheaply made. I was so excited for the Cybertruck. No, I'm not. Yeah, that's disappointing. Unless they fix every, unless they like move the, unless they have like a factory in Japan, but they don't fuck around. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. And exactly. Then I'd be like, all right, I get it. Come Damn, on. dude, demand I got want to them so bad though. Yeah, it would protect you against a Joe Rogan. I'll arrow. be out of the week. Fuck it. I think they're so cool. <laughs> I always so liked. Sick. I I thought it was cool. They look so cool. sick. Yeah, dude, bro. That was like one of our first podcast episodes where it's like, look at this thing called the Cybertruck, and yeah. it was like three years ago. And now we're crazy. Like, look at the Cybertruck. <laughs> yeah, look at this fucking shit coming right, up. Um, we're fucking off. We're gonna get Olive Garden. We're gonna try and go, man. Face. Real quick, shout out to you. Shout out to our listeners. Everyone watching, subscribe, follow. Uh, subscribe to Below Average Productions, and then and come to if you've been Bloomington, come to Hoppy Dab Wobbles. Me up, damn come, it. come to Hoppy Wobbles every Sunday. Comedy show at seven. Open mic after. We love you. Peace out. Bye bye. Real quick before you click away. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment below, and subscribe for all future videos. And uh, you can also check out these videos over here. Have a great one.